Hello everyone. Just a quick reading about Meghan and Harry and could this possibly have been in stars? It's a bit in a moon diary I've got by Alexandra Jowett. I'll read it now. So I'm still trying to keep these videos under five minutes. It's from the full moon lunar eclipse on the 10th of January this year. In the sign of cancer, this eclipse kicks things off in a potent way and the week surrounding it could be a peak moment in our history. The sun is paired up with youthful trickster Mercury in the traditional and mature sign of Capricorn, and very close by the superpowers of Pluto and Saturn are very nearly conjunct. This could instigate a clash of new versus old as a purging eruption of stubborn underlying issues are propelled to the surface shaking the foundations of what we once considered our stable and established home. Exposure of corruption and lack of integrity within these structures may now be revealed in order to be healed. Profound words there and with what's happening around the world, Harry and Meghan, possibly Prince Andrew, and things that we have yet to discover may very well come out in 2020 a lot quicker than we think and the reason I've chosen and focusing on the full card is it represents new starts not just for Meghan and Harry but for the royal family their own families and for us because this is a change in history it is going to affect our future generations don't know how yet but it will as they have chosen and been allowed to break away from the institution that is the royal family, here indicated by the Ten of Pentacles. It looks like it was first started by the chariot, which is two opposing forces. And the chariot is usually a very good card, it shows drive and ambition, it can represent internal and external. Sometimes it can represent two people going one way and another. Or maybe two different families, two different viewpoints. But it's taking control and moving forward. And that's what we've seen today. Very interesting how the stars may well have just predicted this. Many blessings, and I'll see you all soon, Elizabeth.